Hi guys and welcome back to the Bespoke Vlog. Now I haven't done one of these for a long time and there are some very um, perfectly good reasons for that which I've shared over personal social media and other bits and pieces like that. Not going to go into it just yet but I will be releasing a later video just allowing you guys where I've been, uh, allowing you guys to know where I've been, what I've been up to and why it's been quiet on this end. So I'm try, trying to get some uh, video capture here and there when I can. Now you might have seen we've been doing some um, sort of tongue and cheek reviews, not, I won't say a review, more of like an overview of certain products with Liam um, in front of the, the wall over there, you may have seen him and I know you guys have been giving him some stick but he literally just came down, he didn't ask anything to do it, he helped us out just recording some video, getting some footage just so we can keep a bit of content going on the YouTube channel. Um, now I know many of you have been asking about the Serenity project with the Striker. This is still ongoing as you can see we're starting to get there, we're starting to design some bits for the scope. We're actually looking at getting some bits 3D printed to make this look a little bit special. But this is here a snag because unfortunately someone snapped the uh, the lovely square suppressor we made off and it snapped off clean so I'm going to have to either make a new one or come up with a new idea. So it's unfortunate but uh, we'll get the project started. Uh, as soon as we can, as soon as we're waiting for some materials to be delivered. Next up, I want to touch base on the Dreadnought project. Now, we did a little bit of the Dreadnought project on YouTube, where we're creating a gun that runs off three M249 gearboxes, and it's just it's going to be an insane uh, rifle, support gun, or whatever, you, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you follow us on Instagram, because we've been leaking pictures on there, because we've restarted the project, because we, we were just there was a bit of a, a time where we were busy, um, and I was struggling to visualise things on how we wanted the project to go, how we wanted the gearboxes uh, and, and such forth. So uh, we'll be updating some content on the YouTube on that. But if you want to head over to the Instagram, you can see um, sneak peek pictures of what we're, we're, where we're showing you bits and pieces that we're doing. Um, and I can show you something. Now this is the belt feed system that we'll be using for the Dreadnought project. And it'll be mounted on a backpack. Uh, and you can see you've got three independent AK hop units. Again, we'll be going into why we've chose AK hop units and this whole setup in the actual Dreadnought videos, which we'll be doing as soon as we can. It's just allocating the time to do so. Um, so let's pop that down to one side. Um, and again, as if we haven't got enough on the plate, we, um, we saw how popular the Boneyard build was with the Striker. Um, and I wanted to do something else. Now, there's a good friend of mine, Patrick, he comes in. Uh, quite often, a uh, real good bloke, he gave me his MP7 um, to do some modifications to and we did it, we got it working back. He took the MP7 away um, and unfortunately it came back with an issue um, and it was a, the gun was about six to eight years old so it's quite an old, an old uh, little gun there uh, and what actually happened was um, the front of his gearbox actually snapped off um, so we kind of RIP'd the, the MP7, um, went and bought a replacement uh, gun for that, something nice and small and compact, I think he actually had an MP5 high cycle. So uh, he actually left this with me uh, because I had some people interested in parts and such, whatever. Um, but I said, no, well, why not, we'll, we'll use it um, because it's not, the time sen it's not as time sensitive for us. The gun can sit here and wait for, for, for gearbox spares because getting gearbox spares for these things is not an impossible. I have searched everywhere over the internet. If you're watching and you've got MP7 Tokimori gear spares or Tokimori VZ61 or MAC-10 spares, let me know what you have. Uh, and, and of course, if, if we can get it into the project, that'd be great. So this is another Boneyard build, I want to call it, because compared to what the value for this item would be, um, I actually picked it up pretty cheap off Patrick. Um, now we've come to a, a deal, um, so it's it's about ten times more expensive than the the project we had with the um, with the striker, where we spent about ten ten pound, I think it was about fourteen dollars ten pound. Now we actually got this for a, for for a hundred pound, um, so it's a lot more expensive, but it's a genuine TM MP7. Um, all the the doodads are there. Uh, you've got the MP7 itself, all the stocks working, all the selectors working, the trigger units working because we've, we've worked on this previously. Um, it's just unfortunate that the gearbox is broken. Um, it comes with a Tokyo Marie 50 round mid cap magazine in the gun. And then we've got 
one, two, three, four, five, six mag mid caps uh, with it as well. Just see noted on one of them says it only holds 65 BB, so we might have to look at the mags and service them. Maybe replace some springs if needed. And we've got a brand new, or it looks like a brand new, Tokyo Marie high cap mag for it as well. Uh, we've also got the other various bits and pieces for the body and the charging handle mechanism. Um, and it actually came installed um, with, these are actually um, a nice little bit of kit you can buy where you can reduce the AEP batteries. It's a reducer so you can use it on the AEP like pistol batteries instead of the, the MP7 and the Scorpion ones. Um, but what one of the previous owners has done is he's put some wires to it where it came out into a pet box. Um, which worked really well because you could plug a LiPo onto it and you haven't got to worry about using them crappy AEP batteries. Now, for this, you can see we've cut this off here. We actually repaired this all nice for, for Patrick, but because this is basically going to be built back from the ground up and we're going to actually strip it to pieces, um, I'll just cut that off just to show you the actual piece there. Because what we're actually going to want to do when we're doing this, we're going to have a complete strip down. I'm going to pull all the electronic components out of this gun. Um, and instead of having like a quick disconnect, which is the issue that Patrick was having, was this not touching the contacts all the time, which we solved that. But I want to, I want to kind of future proof it even more. Um, so we're going to strip all that out. We're going to hard wire it to some some nice wiring. Perhaps now you could easily run the the gun off a pet box battery, and uh, you you could use a big battery. But I, I like to keep things nice and small. Um, and the, the whole reason for this project is, um, it's no secret, we, we love uh, modding snipers and other bits and pieces, we love the striker platform, you guys know we've been doing a lot for that platform for some time. Um, and what I, what I thought what I, I could use this for was perhaps using uh, this system as a backup for a sniper. So instead of running a pistol, I can run with an MP7, um, it's electric so I haven't got to worry about heavy gas magazines or anything like that. Um, it actually came with a, a holster, like a TMC holster as well, uh, which I've managed to get a G-code plate on there so it'll fit like all the other platforms. Um, so it'd be nice to have, if you're sniping, it's the low power, I think it's gonna be putting out about 280 with an upgraded spring. Um, it's nice and low powered, so when you're going into that minimum engagement distance and people are getting closer, you pull an MP7 out, and you've actually got a little bit more extra firepower compared to a pistol. But we're not just gonna stop at this thing standard, we're gonna mod, mod the hell out of this. Uh, get some nice Lalax parts and other bits and pieces. So yeah, the gearbox is missing a front end and you can see the piston and everything's come out the front end because it's just completely sheared off. These do go, um, they, they do break, especially when they're about six to eight years old. Um, you know, so we'll be brushing up the wiring. Um, if we can get a replacement gearbox for this, great, although they are quite expensive and everywhere's out of stock. Uh, like I said, if you watch these videos and you, you manage to have some of these spares and you can help us out, please let us know down below. Um, as it would be appreciated, but we want to get the gearbox shell uh, replacement uh, and then start modding this with Laylax bits and pieces and we might do some extra bits and pieces as well. Uh, if we can't find a gearbox casing, we may try and look at getting one CNC machine as a one-off, but again, that's going to be stupidly expensive. Um, so yeah, we bought this for £100 and like I say, very inexpensive for a Tokyo Marui AEP with a load of mags and, and other bits and pieces in holster. Um, but you know, I didn't want Patrick to lose out. I wanted him to get some kind of money back for this, especially with a because it can't be used at the moment because the gearbox is pr is pretty much scrap. Um, haven't looked at the gears yet, but we'll have to have a look at those and make sure they're all in good working order as well. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a new series uh, as well as the Dreadnought series and the Serenity Striker series, which is going to keep airing. Please show some love for Liam when he's doing his videos. He is learning. He he comes down and helps us out for free. He doesn't doesn't ask us for absolutely anything apart from picking him up from the train station because he's not local to us. Uh, so show some love for Liam, give him tips and feedback. He wants to uh, to get better at doing videos, uh, especially for, for his, his new blog that he started. Um, so thanks for your support. I'll be doing another video, like I said as well, explaining where I've been and, and the troubles that we've gone through over the past uh, the past few months. It's, uh, it's not been an easy ride, but we'll cover that in a more... A more um, Heart to heart videos. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully, loads more content coming your way soon. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.